Hello, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and I'm back to do the Marguerite Miller Challenge, uh, week 22. So, for week 22, I need a tag, something seen in the sky, something with wheels, something sharp. Hmm, I haven't thought about that one yet. I'll have to think about that. You help me think. Uh, washi tape, and the bonus is money. Well, we all need money, but I'm going to start here. I'm going to make this my tag. <laughs> it's a big tag. And I'm going to put this in there just because I want to. So how is everybody today? I hope everyone is well. And hello, new subscribers. So nice to have you along. And welcome back, my regular subscribers. It's always great to have you here. I'm gonna pound this down a little bit. There we go. <laughs> that works. Okay, so my tag needs something on it. So let's just take some goodies that I have up there from when I did the bee journal. Um. I wonder if I can get all those in there. Oh, I doubt it. I don't think they're long enough. Darn, it would have been a great idea, though. Okay. Something a little different up there. I guess I need the jar. The jar needs to come down. Here it is. Might as well throw these all in there that I've been... Oh, hey. That would have worked. From the... Bee journal too. Let's use that. I'm going to throw these into the jar. This is my jar. It's all my pieces that can be cut for top tag toppers. Let's put that lid on right over there. Okay, let's. We're going to use this for our tag topper. Why not? It'll blow in the wind. <laughs> so, I always try to think of something a little different for my um, <laughs> my challenges. But it doesn't always work good, but, you know, hard, this is hard to get through there. <laughs> it's tough material. There we go. Oh, I like it. It's blowing in the wind, see? Okay, so. Um, this is my tag. And I'm going to add this to the front of my tag. But you know what? I really, I need to um, distress them a little bit. So you're going to have to suffer through a little bit of distressing. So there's that. Okay. So this is going to go somewhere about here. And I'm going to apply this to here. About like this. So what I'm going to do is mark. Okay, that's going to go there. It's going to go there. So. So, I want to put glue between here and there. And my um, art glitter glue is not filled, so I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. But this one is 3-in-1. So, you know, similar to Fabri-Tac. <laughs> it's basically the same product. It's made by Beacon. And it's going to go right about there. Okay. So on this, we are going to put um, this. And I want to get a different colored ink for that. And it will show you why here pretty soon. 
Um, let's try this. This is fossilized amber. The other one was um, distress. Uh, Vintage Photo, Distressing Ink. It's just a little off cut of um, uh, 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 Ledger. <laughs> Help! And it's going to go right there. And I don't care if it sticks out. That will be okay if it does. It'll start making sense here pretty soon. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Wow, that is one big tag, isn't it? That's a fancy tag. some on here. Okay. Here we go. And it is down. Down, down, down. Okay. So there is our tag. This weird tag. So now we have this circle right here. So I'm going to glue this one to that one. Let's distress them up a bit. Get rid of the really white edges. The core always shows up really white. This paper here is from, um, I believe, is it this one? I think it might be from this paper here. Yes, this is Lost and Found Blush and Designer Paper Pad. I got it at that store that's no longer open, but it's Mind's Eye. My mind's eye is what it is. Um, I got it at Tuesday morning before it closed. So let's apply this one to that one. Maybe. Better leave this on its side, huh? Let's see if I can get it semi in the middle. Actually, I think I'd like to use black ink on it. But hang on, we'll, we'll look at that in just a second. Um, then I have this to go over it. So let's put it on there. And somewhere about in the middle. And let it dry. And then I have a second one that looks like this. Same thing. We are going to ink it up. 
And like I said, I think the black would have been better around the edge of that one. Oh man, what I needed was a dart. Because that's a dartboard, right? I don't know. I'm suspecting it was a dartboard, but maybe it's a uh, roulette. Might be roulette, huh? Is that what you call it? Roulette? And then this one. Oh, my dog has finally settled down. Oh, my gosh. She has been a big handful today. Okay. Let's see. I wonder if I can punch through it. Not with that one. Here we go. Okay. Somewhere in there is the middle. I don't know. Let's punch them at the same time and then we'll get them in the same about middle. There we go. And this will be the center of it. And this will be the center of this one. And now we have a tag with a headlight and wheels. Look at that. Okay, every, every tag needs to have wheels. It's the will of the people. All tags shall have wheels. No, you don't have to put wheels on your tag. Okay, so there's that one. I don't want it up in the wheel well too far. <coughs> This one almost lost it. This one's going to go right there. Okay, I need my towel here. All right, so now we have something with wheels and we have a tag. Whew. Took us a long time to get there, didn't it? Okay. Um, we need money. <clears throat> so I brought along this um, Monopoly money. 500, I tell you. We are go getting rich in Monopoly. Actually, this is my last 500 from Monopoly money that I have. And it's because I haven't broken into any of my own games. This one came in Happy Mail. Thank you to whoever sent it. I cannot remember. Well, I ordered something and they sent it to me as a thank you gift. This and a bunch of little ephemera. It was very nice. Okay, so we're going to put it right about here because you've got to be able to drive the car. Or whatever it is. We'll find out here pretty soon. And we need somebody to drive it. So here is uh, 
Grandpa um, Mortimer. And this tractor that he's driving on the farm was built by Grandma Mortimer. So he gets to drive it. But it was built by Grandma. That's why it has pink on it. And she used Grandpa Mortimer's roulette game as a wheel because, well, you shouldn't be playing roulette. She can't work on the farm by herself, doggone it. So, Grandma built this tractor. And she needed a break from all the grandkids because they'd all been at the house for a couple of days while all the kids went on vacation to Hawaii. And they watched all the kids and all the pets and all of that. And so Grandma said... Grandpa Mortimer, you take those grandkids out and you put them all, all of them, on the tractor and take them for a ride. So we have Susie Cusey, Beanie Weenie, Benny Hanna, um, Minnie Mo, and Brian Joe. And so they all ran out and all jumped up on the big seat on the top of the tractor. But look, she's falling off. Ah, ah, ah. We got to do something about that, says Grandpa Mortimer. We need another seat. Oh no, we don't have any more money. So, Grandma came out with something. I don't know what it was, but maybe a number 10. And made a bigger seat. So, let's... Uh, Put that number 10 there. I need to mark it off right here. And then I need my big long scissors because I'm just going to gauge it from here to there. Boing! Maybe we'll turn it this way and make it into a big basket of flowers on the tractor. <coughs> Excuse me. I do have a cough left over from having had COVID in May. My goodness. It does not go away. No. So. On goes the big basket of flowers, says Grandma. And the little granddaughter jumped up and said, I can sit on this big basket of flowers. So all the kids come running out again. And here they are. They are all on the tractor. Every grandkid. Except for some of the bigger ones because they were too big to ride. And they were feeling a little embarrassed about Grandma's silly tractor. So they didn't go. But let me tell you something. When they went on this tractor ride... They had the best time ever. And um, they got to see some wildlife when they were out there. So let me put the, help the kids get up on the tractor. Here we go. Excuse me, you guys, while I press you down. Okay, Grandpa Mortimer, what happened next? Well, my friends, Grandma wasn't quite done with the tractor yet. 
She thought it needed. Yes, you got it. Pinstriping. And so the kids got out the pinstriping and decided that they'd better let that grandma finish the pinstriping because, well, you know, grandmas um, love to decorate. Especially when they're creative, like Grandma Mortimer. My goodness, she was very creative. I mean, look at all this pink embellishment she put on her her car here. And I'm going to run this through some uh, glue stick. This is the Tim Holtz um, Ideology Design Tape. Comes with eight pieces of interesting washi tape and I know this is going to be too long so let's see so grandma applied oh look at that I'm pretty close there look at that grandma applied her pinstriping but she wasn't happy with just one stripe oh no 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 grandma likes two stripes two stripes is better than none so the grands got out another batch of pinstriping and they ran it through some tractor glue like this and they applied it just like this nothing fancy just straight stripes just like that and they dried it off and shined it up and then grandma said but you forgot the hood of the car Oh, Grandma, settle down. So the Mortimer grins finished by adding some pinstriping to the hood of the car. I don't know where that piece went, but it's there somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I think that one's too big, too. Okay, okay, okay. Gluey fingers are driving me crazy. Hey, come on. And so they added the pinstriping. And then they were ready to go for their tractor ride with Grandpa out into the big fields. Well, while they were out there, they came across springs up in the sky. And is this the right one? No, that's not it. I'm using the bees, the birds, and the butterflies sticker anthology. And I opened this because they came across this sharp old bee. And the reason they knew it was sharp was because it was huge and it stung one of the grands. But Grandpa Mortimer had in the uh, little first aid kit some bee sting solution. And so the grand was fixed up immediately with um, 
some bee sting solution and he was okay. But that was the sharp item that they came across was this stupid bee that kept flying around after him. And there we go. And then, lo and behold, oh, let's see. <clears throat> I'm getting there. Lo and behold, they saw a bird up in the sky. Look at this bird. I'm going to let his wings stick out over the page because I don't mind. I like this to be kind of interesting. And uh, page turner, you know, like what's sticking out of there? Well, it's a bird wing and a bird tail. That tail will probably get bent. It's a bird wing. Okay, so we're going to leave the tail on board and we'll leave the wing up above. Now, birds were a common sight on the farm, um, but not usually so big. This bird was bigger than the people, really. You would think that Grandpa and Grandma lived at Jurassic Park. But no, they didn't. They just lived on a farm where they had this beautiful little llama that the Grands got out and played with. Her name was Peggy. And Peggy loved to be on the farm. And she loved it when the grands came out to play with her. She was so happy. Oh, Peggy. Grandpa said, you're such a good girl. We're so proud of you, Peggy. You have become such a nice pet. And so Peggy followed along as they made their trip out into the fields. And then they came across, oh, what did they come across? Oh, I don't know. Well, they came across, you know, you know they came across a baby sheep. And the baby sheep hopped on board and went for a ride with them. He was also a giant among sheep. He was like another kind of a Jurassic animal, you know. Only he was a farm animal. But he was so big. But he was a cutie. Oh, I think these are stickers. I think they are. I think so. But it's not coming off very well. We're just going to leave it stuck down. And put glue on the back. I'm pretty sure I got these at Joanne's. But I cannot remember, to be honest with you. Oh, I must have got them at Hobby Lobby. Because I don't think I went to Joanne's the last time. I just went to Hobby Lobby. So little sheep, Gazoo, hopped on board too. And they went for a ride. So we got Peggy and Gazoo. And we have something sharp, that darn bee. Um, and we have money and we have washi tape. We have it all, my friends. We have it all. But they saw the bird in the sky. And then what else? No, they didn't take the giant cat. They left him for another road trip. Okay, so there is our um, collage. <laughs> and
And the story ends that all of the grands came home with buckets of berries. And the buckets of berries, Grandma made into a couple of big pies. And then they ate pie, had ice cream that Grandpa Mortimer made. And they had a, a great time until their parents got home from vacation. So um, I hope you all have a Grandma and Grandpa Mortimer somewhere in your family that will take you out to see the llama, Peggy, and the giant little baby sheep, Gazoo, because he's a cutie too. Don't get stung by the giant bees. Keep your eye open for the giant bird. You don't want it flying into your car window or anything. So, if you get a chance, make a tag car and drive it out to the fields and pick some berries. So I hope you all have a great day. And here's a little closer look at the tag car and all the things happening there. And uh, don't forget to go out and visit your grandma and grandpa Mortimer sometime soon. We've got some reflection on there, don't we? So there we go. Let me move this back. Maybe you can see a little better. Not much better, huh? This is getting heavy. Let me move those noisy papers. And we'll bring this up above that. Light. So there's all the Grands and Grandpa Mortimer, the giant sheep, Gazoo, and Peggy the Llama. And there's our wheels and our headlight all packed into Grandma's tractor. All right, thanks for joining me today, and I hope you all have a great day. Have a um, great evening. Enjoy the day you have and sending hugs your way. Bye.